Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of Modeling in Mayo for a Minecraft, or for Minecraft. In this episode, we're going to be combining a whole bunch of objects, apart from this, and hopefully we'll add some textures on here. So let's get started. First of all, you want to select this tree, and unselect the ground, go to mess, and combine them all together. You're going to want to go to center pivot. And let's just okay. So now let's start adding a bit of textures in here. So you go to your rendering editor or Windows rendering editor and hypersade. And now you want to create a land part. So now you go to your attribute editor, click on color, go into file. Click on this kind of file thing, and you're gonna want to go to your where you saved your files. And it is saved in this one. Then you're gonna want to take whatever texture you want. So let's start out with the top of the grass. And then I'm gonna go to my Harpersade. It'll open. There we go. Click on the ground over here and assign to target and let's just rename this real quick to grass top and let's click on number six and you can see the grass is not really that nice so let's go to our top view and zoom out go to create uv and that planner map click that little button and i'm just gonna go on camera and I'm going to zoom it in, or pull it in, and you want to move in, and put it in the middle of this, edit this to get it the way you want it, so, right about here is good, let's say, and you're going to want to go back to object modes, and this is your basic grass. It's not going to guide your computer or anything, so I just like doing it with a plane. Okay, so you're going to want to go to your faces and select all these bottom faces. Oh, what? Never mind. First, you want to create a gun bar. Then, select all these faces and assign this to gun bar 3. I'm going to click on this, name this as wood or wood texter. And then get to do the same for this, so add a file and find a wood texture. And then this might be a bit longer, so you're gonna want to select this face and the back face and find out what's view it is. So this is I think on the Z axis. Yep. Then you're gonna want to select this. Oh wait. Yeah. Select this and this. That is on the X axis. And then do the same over here. So it's a Z. And then X. Yeah. A faster way would be just to ungroup everything, but I could always do it this way too. So we have to all the top face. Uh, I keep forgetting to make a new round part. So I'll select all these faces. Then I'm going to want to select all the faces underneath. And assign to ground bar 4. Click on the ground bar 4 and do the same thing for this, but name this leaf texture. Then go up here to do the same thing as everything, just get the leaf on here, right here. And this is going to take a while, so what you have to do is the same as this, and I'll pause it, and I'll be right back in a minute. Alright, I'm back, and I got the tree all done. You should probably do the same as me, just pause the video and do it. Uh, actually, I missed a part right here. Uh, access was on. There we go. I missed that part too. There we go. Okay, so now you can just click Control D and move it around to wherever you want. Trees don't really have to be perfect in place, so I just like moving them around anywhere. Just to 
some places that look actually kind of good. And that's be good. We got some textures to the house now. So all this is just going to be the wood texture. So actually, what I should have done was oh, this would have been a much easier way. I didn't think of this before. Actually, I'm gonna do from the next tutorial, but for this one, it's just gonna bear with me. Uh, where's the where's the wood? There it is. What I should have done is just took one of these blocks made as wood and then start working on this, not make them all individual. So this might take a bit longer. You guys can always restart it, but no use for restarting for me. I'm gonna have to pause the video. You guys can just do whatever way you want. And I'll be right back again when I have I'm done doing this part. When I'm back, sorry about that. I uh, accidentally made a huge mistake in my row. What I should have done was just make that one block and then just duplicate it over here. That's why it just did. I deleted everything and redid it. So, hopefully. It's not too bad for you guys, as you can see everything's not straight because I was doing it fast, but... Okay, so next thing we're going to do is... Let's make the sky. Now the sky... Well, actually, how much time we have left? The sky we're going to start working on now, but we're going to finish it next episode. So, let's go to fluids over here and create a 3D fluid container. And let's just move this up. And shrink it down. And let's go to our view, this view. And let's move this way. Actually, let's move this up. We're just going to get this in position, probably. And end it right there, because that's feels so bad right now. <laughs> After messing up like that. Alright, so this is our sky, pretty much. Might have to extend it out a bit. Let's see. Yep. Still not like this, and we should be good. We could probably take this and duplicate it and move it out. And we could actually move this, move this thing up and shrink it just a bit. down just kind of right so I'll make right over here actually just a bit more so right there is good and we should actually just take one of this and move it back because he's gonna be walking over here so I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video thanks for watching and I hope that mistake will won't do anything, so we keep watching my videos, subscribe, thumbs this thing up, and next video we're gonna make the sky, and I think we might fix up the forest a bit, so he's gonna be walking through the forest, and maybe add a bit of mountains and hills and stuff. So thanks for watching again, and I hope you make it.